Hi, everybody. This is Ninja Mom from ppcgeeks.com. Here to do a review on the Defender series from Otterbox for the Evo 4G. They were nice enough to send me a review unit to take a look at. Have to say, I'm impressed with the device. Um, with this case, I should say. Built very well, very solid. Um, does add a little bit of weight and thickness to the phone, but that just makes it feel a little bit more secure in your hand. Um, I'm going to walk through a brief breakdown of the case, and then we'll install it back together. Um, to tear the phone, to tear the case apart, pop off the port covers, and then just take your thumbnail and you can pry the silicone layer off of the device. Now you're down to the polycarbonate shell. There's two little um, hooks on the side here. Just lift and it will come apart. You have to do it on both sides. There. And that's the three pieces of the Defender Series case. The two shell pieces, you'll notice that there's a protector for the screen. The back, it has a protector for your camera lens and your flash, and has the, um, a built in kickstand for you. And then the shock absorbing silicone layer that kind of pulls the case all together. Um, I have to say when I first got this case and I put it together, um, when I got the shell installed, I wasn't too sure if I was going to like it just because of all the little knobs and uh, that stick out from the phone, but that silicone layer really kind of pulls it together. Um, so to install it, just set your Evo down in the base. Put the top layer on top, and there's six contact points you're going to really have to push um, to get these contact points in together, which I like that because it makes it um, more solid and less likely to pop apart on you in the event of a fall. There we go. And then just slide the shell into the top of the silicone. Work it around. Now you'll notice right, let's see if I can get up here, this little tract. That's going to be where um, the silicone layer is going to hang on to your device. And it's also the spot where it might eventually kind of uh, lift off for you. I'll explain more of that later. First thing I like to do is snap my earphone jack cover in. And then to get this on here, you pretty much just kind of lift and press onto that track that I was telling you about just a second ago. You can even just take your thumb and sort of press in towards the phone, in and up. And it'll, you'll see on this side, Sorry, I'm not in the screen. You'll see on this side that it's installed, and this side is not yet. One thing, um, when you go to charge your phone and you pop this port off to get to your charging port, it does tend to uh, come unflanged right here, and you will have to refit that in there every time, but it's really nothing more than just pressing up with your thumb like that. I did have the Rocketfish case installed um, before I put this one on, and that case made my rocker switch buttons and my power button uh, basically non-existent because of trying to press and, you know, you couldn't turn the phone on very easy. It was really difficult. Um, the Defender case does cover these buttons 
like the rocker fish, um, rocket fish case did, but as you can see, doesn't take hardly anything to power on the device or to operate the rocker switches. Otterbox also sent with this unit a swivel um, clip to put your, in your phone in, in case you wanted to wear it on your hip. Um, I'm not a swivel clip user, but um, the thing I like about this one is that you can install it face out. Or you can install it face in. It's your choice. They don't decide for you. You get to choose how you would like that installed. Um, would I recommend this case to a friend? Absolutely. Um, I was a little leery about whether I would be able to say that um, since this case retails for $49.95, but uh, sometimes, you know, you get what you pay for. My $20 case didn't cut it. This one is definitely a great case. I recommend that you get it. Thanks.